Wer meinte? <lacht> listen, listen, listen. Shock, surprise and upset. Those are the words featured in, in many of the headlines about Hansa Parchment's win in the final of the 110-meter hurdles at the Tokyo 2020 Games. We get an armstring injury. Just a run with Hansel. <laughs> the man who claimed the gold joins us now via Zoom. Good morning, Hansel. Good morning, good morning. Morning, Bridget. Hold on, before we go any further, she was telling Hansel that before he came on. Uh, Hansel said, you never warm up. <laughs> she never warm up properly. Bridget, congrats. She needs to hydrate. Yeah, congrats, my Bridget. Um, I've said this many times because I think you know what I do. So every competition you enter, you want to win. Having yeah. said that, were you surprised that you got the gold medal? No, I wasn't surprised at all. That's, that's what I was working for. That was the goal from the, the get-go. So, you know, I'm, I'm just really happy that I could have, you know, complete that and get to achieve the goal that I set out for myself. Yeah. yeah. How are you going to a race like this, Hansel? Do you go into the race just focused on this is how I'm going to execute the race? Or I mean, a lot of people are talking about Holloway. Do you go in mm. and say, you know, say, I'm going to run left the money, you know, the money is going to be a problem. How, how <laughs> do you, do you mean, approach what it? I mean, listen, this, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but I had him from the first round. And trust me, he's an exceptional athlete. He have a fire racket kind of start because, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> somebody I watch if I smile, I call him and tell him, see you. No, man, alarm, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but um, <clears throat> he have a brilliant start. And if, if you guys realize, he's at the second hurdle by everyone is at the first hurdle. Mm -hmm. And I've been studying that from the first um, heat. You know, so I had that tunnel vision. I was very focused because I knew that if I'm going to beat this guy, I have to have everything in control. Can't make no mistake. Mm. You know, I said in the semifinal um, that you always come on late. You know, we were watching the race and... And you didn't look like you were right there um, too early. And I say, you yeah, always come on late. Wasn't surprised you got to the final. But in the final, it didn't seem like you came on late at all. You were right there with them for most of the race, don't it? Yeah, yeah. And that, well, that was a little surprising for me because when I glim glimpsed across, I realized that everybody is close. And I said, all right, you know, I time to work now. <laughs> I mean, like, this so, look possible. So what was the difference in that one? Your, your, your start was better. You got up as quickly as everyone else. Because as I said, I repeated myself here, but you were right there. I mean, first hurdle, second hurdle, you were right with them. Well, I don't know if you know, but I had um, Taekwondo Tracy as my roommate and Julian and um, Civil and you know, all the sprinters. And, you know, we had a little talk about the foot placement and um, coming out of the blocks a little faster and, and what I need to do. And I say, you know what? I'm going to try to to apply some of this to to the warm-up. Wow. You know, I didn't have much time to, to do it because it's just the warm-up before I go and run. Mm -hmm. And I made a few changes with, with the foot placement and trust me, it worked. Um, uh, myself and um, Akil, Coach Akil was there and, you know, he, he took a few videos, you know, pre um, like first test and then second test to see which one look more smooth and I say, all right, this look more smooth, we're going to try it and it, it worked. Yeah, yeah. Hansel, I mean, we, we, we spoke to Fitz Coleman and he said, look man, Hansel, tell me a long time, say, I'm going to the Olympics to win this gold, you know. W where does that mindset come from, Hansel? We know you had injury um, and you had to work through that and people who work through injury sometimes say, you know, I just want to be able to compete. You work through it True. and say, no, I'm going to win gold medal. I mean, what drives that kind of determination? Well, I have to give a lot of credit to, to Coach. We've been working for quite a long time, and he's always drilling me about tunnel vision and, and keeping those, the mental blinkers on. And, mm -hmm. you know, don't worry yourself. Just, you know, keep your mind in the right place. I have to big up um, Mr. Clark as well. He's like a mentor. He's, a, he's always coming through and, and supporting us where that is concerned. So I have to give credit to them. What did Holloway say to you at the end of the race? Well, I think he was a little bit surprised. I think he um, panicked a little bit when he saw that I was coming up. But, you know, he's congratulated, congratulated me. 
you know, he, he was saying that he was watching me on his TV and, you know, it's a pleasure of competing with me and thing. But I, I said the same thing because when I was out 2019 and I, I saw, I was watching him being exceptional on TV and, and just winning races from the, from the blocks, you know, that, that was just an awesome experience. Now, Hansel, how you got Japan go last? <laughs> I didn't expect the question, but I never expect it like that. <laughs> Please, uh, I'm curious. Tell me what happened. Tell me what funny, happened. Funny thing. Um, all, all the, the bus line out, um, let, let's see now, on this road, you have bus line up on the left and on the, on the, the right hand side. And, our bus is always on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. But the bus stop, it has like athletic track at the top. Yeah. And then like some minor events or other sports underneath it. So when I saw athletics track at the top, <laughs> I'm saying, this is my bus. <laughs> I'm having the music. So when I listen to what the, the volunteers are saying, where the bus is going, because I'm usually I say where the bus I go <laughs> and have, sometimes have up signs in the man. Mm -hmm. But I just walk on because me I say athletic stadium is on the the <laughs> sign, so it must be going there. Going in and I sit down at the front, the very first seat, and I'm in the phone selecting some more music and thing. And I saw a girl come on with something in a pouch. I'm not sure what it was, but something in a long. It looked long. <laughs> and she passed me, and I'm like, "What is this? This don't look." Full voltage, this don't look like no implement for track and field. But I didn't take a hint from that because I looked back and I realized nobody else have anything like that. So you said she lost. I was just thinking, maybe she don't know where she's going. And I didn't realize that I was lost until like maybe three quarters of the journey. When I woke up my head and I realized, you know, this place look industrial. This not look like the route to the track at all. You know, at the same time, I start text Coach O'Keel and I tell him, say, listen, you think me I got the wrong place? Um, he never panicked, which is good. And, you know, he was telling me to just keep calm and thing. And, and then when I realized I'm at this, I think it was a rowing place. Mm -hmm. So it looked like what, what the lady had was one of them rowing. Yeah, yeah or. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we'll call it again. The Remember or, that? the or for the rowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um. You know, the, the volunteer was was um was really kind to me. No, it was it's, it was she, an amazing it was an amazing to help. Yeah, it was an amazing no story. Fact, she was hiding to give me the money because you know they're not really allowed to do them kind of things. Okay. Yes, yes. And she she took me all the way out to the front to to get one of the the Olympic taxis. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I I kept composure the whole time until when we meet up some traffic. At that time, I start freak as me, I say. I forgot to run now. I forgot to run, go the race. traffic are walking pace now. <laughs> it's not look like me, I reach. I start watch the time. I start to drink off all of the water that I have in my bag. <laughs> I'm supposed to have sip. And I said, no, man, this, this traffic are more extra slow now. We need to do something. Man. You know, the taxi man was driving fast because they were explaining to him that you know, I need to get to the track at a certain time. But finally got through, um, had enough time for warm-up. Normally, I don't put on my body suit until I finish warm-up and about to go out because I don't want to sweat it up. Mm. And I, I, I was pinning on my number from in the taxi and <laughs> pull on the body suit as soon as I got to the track and just jump straight into warm-up. Wow. You know, I'm just, just happy that I, I got through. And wow. since it's an amazing story, but... What would have happened had you, as you were suggesting that they were telling you to go back to the village and then go to the track? Would you have made it? Probably not. I would have made it before the race because, you know, we, my coach and I, and even Coach Akil, we always talk about getting to the track early mm -hmm. and leaving like, like three hours before the race. Yeah. So you have enough time to relax a little bit before you start warm up and so on. Yeah. So I think I would have get there before the race. Mm -hmm. The problem is, would have the warm up time, yeah, and yeah. I wouldn't have the time to go and test the start that I that I was planning on testing. Yeah. Wow. Well, God wow. is God, God is good. God is good. What's next? Yes. What's the, what's what's your next event? Diamond League. 
Diamond League. When? Uh, Paris and Lausanne, I think the 26th and the 28th. Regin, I am so very proud of you. The entire country is proud of you. I know you're proud of yourself. Your family must be proud of you. But um, fantastic effort. Um, and whether you like it or not, a lot of people didn't think you would have won that race. You true. Know? That's true. Um, That's true. And boy, you really, really proved them wrong. I am so proud uh, of you. And I pray that you will just continue to do what you love, which is what you're doing now. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Um, good luck. Thank you very much. Having... Get a map. Get a map. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, for the, for the finals, I make sure that I took out the music and listen keenly because I couldn't afford to miss. <laughs> God bless you, my friend. Look after yourself. Thanks for being with us this morning. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Olympian. Hansel Parchment.